this is my Axial SCX24 RC car, and we've been working on this body. I, th I think that this is the final finished body. So here we have the hood that opens. We've moved the battery to the front. And here in the back, we have a, in, a, a bed that's on the inside. It's working opening toolbox. So the toolbox is one of the accessories yeah. that you can print. You don't have to have the toolbox, right? You don't have to. The other accessories are a camper shell. A camper shell? A blue one. And the camper shell would fit on there yeah. if you didn't have the toolbox. Yeah. Yeah. It would just fit on there. Let's see what it looks like. Doesn't really can't see real well, but you can see a little bit what it would look like. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can see in the back that these are all the evolutions of the truck bodies in order, but we didn't put the beds in order. All the different prototypes as we were developing it. Yep. The first was all one piece. As you can it, see, this is the first one it has like all the holes. And it's just a. The hood doesn't open or anything with that one. Yeah, and then we decided to make the hood open and we started separating a lot of the pieces. There's a few different bumper designs as we were going. Yeah. And then if you're wondering how we did the two by the two colored bed, we had a piece like this in black and then a piece like this in blue or whatever color you print the body in. So the body or the bed prints in two pieces? Yes. And we have an optional file for a one piece bed if you don't want to have the two different colors. So we have both files. You can print one piece or two piece. And you just put and glue them together. this on top of this one here. Right. It's so on there just perfect. So then you can have like a black bed but with a color on the body. Yes. Okay. And what else? So the hood prints as a separate piece, the cab prints as a separate piece, and we have an open cab with no windows. Have this like one these. There. And we also have a closed cab Grab with with windows. Like, like this. So you can paint the windows if you want. We were gonna have the finishing product in red, but the same but the 3D printer jammed and didn't finish this roof here. And the only other color that was like not black was blue. That we had any of. That would be an actual color so for then the truck. The grill prints separate, the bumpers are both separate, yes. both bumpers, and the mirrors are separate and they're pre um, they have holes in them for paper clips to use as the as the connectors. And as you might have seen with my other And then the hold on a second, Brecken. And then all the body trim prints separately. So all the door molding, the wheel well trim, and the badges all print separate. So you can you can leave it you know, without any trim like this. Or you can add the trim like that. And the back bumper has holes in it. It's perfect for like a, uh, a ball socket. Uh, there's lots of those laying around everywhere. Like so you can put a the, hitch ball in it. For these? Like the shocks? Yeah, something like that. From the shocks here. We just put one of those in here and it fits perfectly. Yeah, we have one laying around somewhere. Can we go grab them from our extra parts? Um, I think there's some in that little hardware container. Okay. We can grab one of those. So then in the bed, um, we wanted to do it so you had everything you needed with the original kit. So I think all the SCX24s come with three body clips. So we just have one in the center of the bed. And then under the hood, there's two uh, in front of the battery. So there's one on each side up there in the front. And if you pull those three body clips, the body comes off. Um, we'll do that in a minute. And the battery just sits right up in the front there. We'll use a little bit of Velcro. And then to get the wheelbase correct, 
You can see the bumpers have a lot of adjustment in them. So there's a lot of play. You can move the body forward and backward. I've got um, me. But we had to do a four link in the yes. front to get the long wheelbase. And the kit comes with everything you need for that. There's lots of YouTube videos to make it a four link in the front and lengthen the wheelbase. Let's put the... Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you want to add shock a, ball hinge. Yeah, if you want to use a, a little ball like that. Okay. There, then you can have a hitch. Just throw a nut underneath it. Move your fingers there, buddy. You can throw the nut underneath there, but yeah, like that. So you want to show them the uh, the hood, yeah. the grill. I'm sorry, the cab already comes with recessed light buckets with three millimeter holes for the normal standard LEDs, like the factory headlights that come with the kits, or you can do your own, of course. So this one is done. Let's turn it on here. Okay, so there's what the headlights look like. And you can see they're, they're flush behind the grill, so you could add lenses if you wanted. Um, I think it looks pretty good without it though. Just like that. And then as far as wheel clearance, you want to show them uh, when it flexes. Yes. So this is all the way flexed with all tires on the ground. Yeah, can you it's go any about, higher than that? No. It's about an inch off the ground, maybe. So, so no rubbing there. You want to turn it the other way. Yep. Yeah. And no no rubbing there either. No flexed rubbing all the way. No rubbing while you drive or anything. And then if you do the back, you can maybe get it to rub just a hair on the body, depending on what tires. These are the big tires from a deadbolt, so if you had the C10 kit, the tires would be smaller, I think. But uh, basically no rubbing with the, the tires at all. And the, the wheel wells are recessed up in there. There's no rubbing in there either. If you want to see the body that we had before this one if you wanted to see the body that we had before this one there is a youtube video on this one we did about six months ago maybe i'm gonna pull the, yes. the body off of this one yes. so unplug that battery we'll show them what it looks like without the body Okay. Did you pull the battery off? No. Unplug the battery. And then hold on. You gotta unplug the lights too. Okay. So, put our ball in. so without the body, this is what it looks like. Front bumper slips right over like that. You get rid of the front shock tower, or well, they're part of the receiver plate here, but you move the front shocks down here to the frame and you use the, the same hole that goes into the receiver plate so you don't need anything for that. And then in the back, in the back you get rid of the rear shock towers and all the body mount and stuff in the back and you move the shocks to the frame there. And we have the, the file for this little cross brace right here that the shocks um, use. And then there's the back bumper. Like I said, lots of adjustment there. Lots of adjustment on this one. They match front and rear and that's pretty much it oh and lots of different accessories too we started kind of adding some things we've got we've got mountain bikes to throw in the bed we've got the toolbox like you saw we that, also uh, have a that fits down into the uh, the stake pockets and it has a lid that comes off you can store stuff in there and it's it stays latched on. And we also have oh, yeah, we did a, a Yeti cooler. We did a cooler and use a paper clip for the hinge on that. And that file will be available also so it can open up. And time to store the body clips. Perfect. Personally. You can throw that in the back. And I think that's about it. What do you think? I Is think it's it? good. You think it's good? Yeah. Think we're all done with it? Yeah. Think it can't be any better? Yep. Yeah. Right.
So what should they do? Tune back in to see some running videos? Yep, we'll be back with some more. Alright.